Hello and welcome to Top10list.org, where you get a world of knowledge in 10 simple points. Today's episode is going to be about the best sculptures in the United States. Starting at number 10, we have the Statue of Liberty, in 1886 by Frederick August Bartholdi. There is a lady standing in the Liberty Island of New York holding a Bible in one hand and a torch in the other. The Statue of Liberty is made for the Great Lady Liberty, which was a gift by the French to the Americans. She is a girl from France who ages like wine and grows more precious every year. It is the sign of hope and freedom for the citizens of the United States through which they see their liberty. Number nine is the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, built in 1982 by Maya Lin. Many of the statues of America are only made as a memorial to some wars or past presidents like Washington, Jefferson, or Lincoln. But Lin's Vietnam Veterans Memorial is noteworthy for the debate held in its design and construction. This is famous for its minimal design with the addition of different wars, fallen, comrades, making it a cultural symbol. The undeniable and unusual work of public sculpture makes it remarkable. Number eight is the Gateway Arch, built in 1968 by Eero Sarin. The Gateway Arch is the tallest memorial of the United States and also the tallest stainless steel sculpture in the world. One can see it from a huge distance away. It acts as a beacon for navigating the area miles away. While obviously it will not be the only reason of building the memorial, the full name of the park is the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial along with the Louisiana Purchase and the westward extension of the United States. Number 7 is the Spiral Jetty, built in 1970 by Robert Smithson. One can say it is a miracle or something else. Enduring Smithson's spiral jetty proves that this natural disasters are not always a threat. It is situated on the shore of the Great Salt Lake. The spiral jetty is made up of earth, mud, salt, and rock, which has a hull of 1,500 feet long. It takes only six days to give a proper shape to its gigantic size. It shows the impulse of Mother Nature, which is based on drought, snow melt, and fluctuating water levels. The Smithson's jetty once crashed in 1973 after 35 years of its birth, which is a signal that nature makes its balance despite people taking unusual measures to protect it. Number six is the Crazy Horse Memorial in 1948 by Korzak Zolkowski. Crazy Horse was the Ogla Lakata warrior, which was 87 feet high. He was the political neighbor of Mount Rushmore. This was a substantial and uncompleted testament carved in South Dakota's Black Hills from the Thunderhead Mountain. The design of the sculpture consists of his horse's head, his arm, and chest of 153 feet high and the warrior's torso. The work is so big and wider from completion, so a non-profit organization endeavor took the charge after the death of the commander, Zolkowski. Like other famous sculptures, its construction was also gone through various controversies. Number five is Spoonbridge and Cherry, built in 1985 through 1988 by Claes Oldenburg and Koos van Bruggen. There comes a turn of a huge white spoon with a perfect red massive cherry on its tip. That's what the sculpture is. This beautiful sculpture is situated adjacent to the Walker Art Center in the Minneapolis Sculpture Garden. This was built by a fun couple, Oldenburg and his wife Van Bruggen. Their interests include a gigantic eraser of typewriter, a free stamp, and a clothespin near Philadelphia. In winters, the sculpture is caked with snow, which enhances the beauty of the sculpture. Number four is the Cloud Gate, built in 2004 by Anish Kapoor. Chicago's public art has a shiny metal bean. Cloud Gate is what it's called, and it attracts picnic goers and people alike. One can touch it and take all types of pictures. When we walk around the sculpture, we see the reflection of buildings and surroundings, which is surprisingly awesome. It is a kind of a wide, curvy bathroom mirror, so to speak. At number three, we have the Watts Towers, aka the Nuestro Pueblo, built in 1921 through 1954 by Simone Rodia. The Watts Tower looks like a giant folk art Christmas tree structure. In all, there are 17 structures in which some of them are 99 feet high. Fundamentally, these towers are made of objects, like the detritus of urban life, like bottles, frames, steel pipes, and bottles. These give an image of the do-it-yourself Sagrada Familia. Number two is the Metal Morphosis, built in 2007 by David Kearney. Kearney is again a Czech sculpture of controversy that specializes in big heads. His work, Tower Babies, is carved on a 709-foot-tall television tower named Ziskov in Prague. As the name depicts, it is a sequence of infants cast in bronze who are climbing a tower. The second sculpture in Prague consists of two nude males facing each other in peen, and this becomes the fountain. 
Unlike all of these, Metamorphosis at Carlet's Whitehall Technology Park is entirely a different concept made up of multiple slices of stainless steel plates reflecting that rotates autonomously, making the shape of a face. Number one, the statue is called Her Secret is Patience, built in 2009 by Janet Eckelman. This latest sculpture in the list made by the polyester twine netting and galvanized steel is a title of which was derived from a quote as The Secret is Patience by Ralph Waldo Emerson, who was from Arizona University of Civic Space Park and further being suspended. A process of Wynn's choreography named Eckelman is used which simulates the compulsiveness of clouds. During nights it gets colored with beautiful lightning, like a jellyfish in the air or above versions of the Aurora Borealis. That concludes our episode on Best Sculptures in the United States. If you enjoyed this edition, click subscribe and don't hesitate to join us again for another episode of Top 10.